now in the Two, Olympics program, yes. only ever was. And uh, here we see the uh, program that we've got the Polish, the Dutch were first in Belgrade, uh, the New Zealanders, the Romanian world champions, the Italians and the Swiss. They're in lane one, Bolonica Derez and Katrina Velna. Velna's come into the crew. A stroke woman. She's 24 years of age. This great Dutch crew who won the World Cup in Belgrade. New crew, Ilse Paulus, closest to you, the Olympic champion in this event with Mike ahead. And then behind her, the young Marika Kaiser, just 21 years of age. The New Zealanders, great form here, Zoe McBride in the bow seat from Nelson Rowing Club and Jackie Kittle from Star Boat Club in the stroke seat. Here are the world champions, a fantastic double at the top of their game, Yona Levila Kosmiuk on the right of your picture in the bows and Gianna Elena Belayaga in the stroke seat on the left of your picture. And they're only 23 years of age. All the Romanian crews here are very young. The Italians, Frederica Cesarini, closest to you in the stroke seat. And then Valentina Rodini behind her. And uh, Rodini, just 23 years of age. Cesarini, only 21, so another young crew. The Swiss crew on the outside, coached by the British uh, Robin Dow, who's gone over and worked with the Swiss team. Patricia Mertz and Frédéric Wah. Attention. That was a long hold on the start between the attention and the buzzer, but it hasn't affected any of the crews as they get very smoothly away here. Yeah, and this uh, race really is a question mark between can the Dutch improve through this regatta as they did in Belgrade to take that win because yesterday they lost in the semi to the Romanians and uh, will the pace of the New Zealand be enough to dominate the world champions? The New Zealanders posted a time slightly quicker in their semi-final than the world champions. But it's the Italians over here in five surprising us going out for it as well with the Polish at the top of the screen in lane one and um, the Romanians like we say, it's a young crew um, as we have a look here at the Dutch winners in Belgrade, as you say, uh, in the uh, gold medal from Rio in the stroke seats, has all the experience. And uh, this is uh, not surprising to see the race going like this. New Zealand is sitting in the middle of the field. Will they be able to press on and bring that power through the middle? Yeah, beautiful race as we look at the new Polish double, Veronica Derej furthest away from you, and then the young Katrina Velna in the stroke seat. New Zealand is slightly out of the picture, but pretty much it's six crews in a line, isn't it? I was going to say, I think this is the best race we've seen so far in terms of everyone being right in it with a chance. And funny, the two form crews in lane three and four are the ones that are actually going to be fourth and fifth as we come through the 500. Yeah, I tell you, it's interesting the impact that Robin Dowell has had. The British coach has gone with Switzerland, working with Mertz and Roll. Because, uh, you know, although Patricia Mertz was fourth in the lightweight women's singles, Frederick Roll was back in 14th place in the lightweight women's doubles. And now they're really competitive with the best in the world. And, you know, he works with Janine Gamellan. And you can see the impact it's had on, on Swiss women sculling because they're right in there, competitive, and they look really good, don't they? A lot of, um, you know, waiting for it. He really focuses on that power on the stretcher, pressure on the feet is his mantra. There's a real nice connection, isn't there, in the Swiss double and then acceleration. You see a real using the body length as much as possible. And still, these crews more or less side by side. Really hard to call what's going to happen here. Yeah, the Italians heading out in front now at the moment, and... Uh, they were very close behind the New Zealanders yesterday. They had a really decent middle of the race. And again, you see really tidy blade work from them, moving the handles really nicely together. At the other end, that spoon just disappearing again with that white tape mark, so you can check just how efficient they're being. Do you think they've been inspired by Oppo and Ruter in the, in the race before them at all? I should imagine they'll have got an idea, and I think you get a positive feeling within a team 
Um, I don't like to see that crew warming up at the top of the screen there, that uh, Italian quad. It's a bit rude. I think they should stop. Um, that's a bit unfair on that Polish crew up there in lane one. So there are the remaining world champions. This time in Sarasota last year where we had the world championships, they were in front. So you can tell the pace has moved on now. They're not having it all their own way. They were dominant in the semi-final yesterday. They hit the front at this mark, but instead it's going to be Italy who will go through with their bows in front. It's a tremendous race we're seeing, isn't it? This is a fantastic race, yeah. We see the Italian bow there. But uh, the Romanians, they won the uh, under-23 World Championships and the Senior World Championships in one year last year. Now it's just all about the seniors. And um, will they be able to come through the middle here? It's hard to know. I think the Italians are making a strong move in the third quarter. This is where we might expect to see the race get sorted out. Maybe see the New Zealanders start to push on. There she is, Frederica Cesarini, 21 years of age in the stroke seat. The Kiwis, as the swan gets out of the way. In the centre lane, Zoe McBride and Jackie Kittle. And uh, it's going to have to make a move, that swan. But the Italians still there. The Dutch, I quite like what the Dutch are doing over there in lane two. They're in contact. It's a question of whether they can have that, that final sprint. I think if they're going to make an impact, they've got to get closer in this third quarter. But it's stroke for stroke as well. We can see the stroke race there. Everyone is pretty much doing the same thing. 36 strokes a minute. They're sculling the boat in the same way. It's all now just about efficiency and power. There are the blades of the Dutch double. The young Marika Kaiser took that silver medal in uh, Sarasota in the lightweight moving single last year same time as she won the under 23 championships in the lightweight women's single but the Italians have moved out this is a bit of a performance wasn't expecting to see that pace in the third quarter after they've been so dominant early on no a big move from the Italians to go for this in the third quarter see what they can do now when we're coming into the last 500 we'll get the split times but we can see clearly the Italians have been the fastest in that third quarter Look at those inner line, the Swiss, the Romanians, the New Zealanders coming back into it and the Dutch. Who's going to win the medals in this event? Italy's looking back at the race, but they're going to be hurting. Well, look at the New Zealanders on that split time. They're the second quickest in that 500. The only ones like the Italians to dip underneath 145 for that third 500. Will the New Zealanders now be able to power through as we've seen some of their crews do? I think they've got a lot to do to get to these Italians. The Dutch looking confident. Or well, they're looking slightly just out of sync, not quite moving as well as they were together earlier on in the race. I'm not quite sure the Italian double's working as well as it... Sorry, the Dutch double working as well as it needs to. Obviously, for Doc Schott and Marit van Eypen, the uh, Beijing Olympic champion in this event, worked with this crew. Romanian just put in their bows in the front. The Dutch did have a quicker last 500, the final 500, than the Kiwis in yesterday's semi-finals. But uh, that was yesterday. We see what's in their legs today. There go the New Zealanders, the All Blacks, sprinting for the line. It's so tight. It's so close. The Italians, as we look to our left, are well out in front. There are the Dutch. They still have it in their legs, Greg. You say they're well out in front. They're not that far out in front. I think the Italians are coming back towards the field. The Dutch double here moving quickly on and the New Zealanders and the Romanians battling it out for the bronze the Italians are really suffering there's about 10 strokes to the line I don't think the Dutch can do it the Italians still keeping their fall as they come up towards the line Holland in second place the Romanian world champions in New Zealand neck and neck but the Swiss too on this near side just coming up for the bronze medal Italy take the goal Holland take the silver and then oh my goodness me Romania and New Zealand and I think that should be a I think Switzerland as well Swiss. I think all three of them are in that photo for the bronze medal but what a gutsy race what a gutsy second thousand from the Italians they were clearly the winners 6.54 that's uh, such a quick time it's, it's only about 7 seconds slow in the world record pace a touch exhausted in second place what is the photo finish going to say? So close. I mean, I think the Swiss are going to be pleased. They'll, they'll love it if they've won a medal. But, I mean, just to be that close to the world champions and the world silver medalists. Yeah, the Romanians looking disappointed. You know they came here to win this as reigning world champions. You can but, see the pain they're feeling now. The long wait. We haven't got it on our screens here. And normally we get results in advance. So it's a bit of a wait. And it's obviously a close one because it's taken a little bit of a while for them to work it out. So while they do that, we can take a look at the Romanians going off the start here. 
I wonder what will be in their debrief, whether they'll talk about whether things they might have just done wrong along the way. The Polish up here in lane one. I don't think they'll like that lane, getting a little bit disturbed by the crews warming up. Um, and it's quads and eights that are coming next. Um, so there could be a bit of wash in that warm up area. The Italians here were so efficient. Like their male counterparts. And then the Dutch looked to me like they might be losing it with about 500 to go, but it didn't affect it. And they still managed to move well enough together to come through and clearly get that silver medal. And then is our drone going to help us? Not quite. It's obviously a very official photograph that needs to be taken and needs to be looked at. So we're going to go for the medal ceremony of the previous event, but not before we see, look how close that is. The Romanians get it just two hundredths of a second ahead of the Swiss with the Q2. 